Hello kids, I hope you all are doing good. So welcome to your science tutorial. So today we'll be taking class 5 science, chapter 1 growing plants. The topic is seed germination. So be ready with your book, notebook and your pencil box. The topics which will be covered today are definition of germination, conditions for germination, stages of germination, overcrowding and diagram of seed germination. Children, in your last class, you have already studied about the structure of seed. Seed has got some external and internal parts which you have studied. Now, if you want to convert that seed into a new plant, what you are supposed to do? You need to put that seed into the soil and provide certain essential condition which will help it turn into a new plant. So the process by which a seed produces a new plant or a seed changes into a new plant is called germination. But not all seeds germinate into new plants. You can ask why? Because children, whatever seeds are provided or put up into the soil, they sometimes get destroyed by wind or water. Some of them are eaten by birds or animals and some of them do not get the essential conditions for germination. So they do not germinate. Now the question comes is what are those essential conditions which are required for germination? So as you can see on the screen, I have written three conditions which are very much essential for a seed germination. First one is air. Second is water and the third is warmth. So for a seed to germinate, all these conditions are very much essential and they should be given in adequate amount like proper aeration or air is required, sufficient quantity of water is required, not too much, not too less and suitable temperature or the right amount of temperature is needed for a seed to germinate. If any one of these factor or condition is not available, the seed will not germinate. So that's why we call them as the essential conditions for germination. Moving on to our next topic that when a seed germinate, what happens and how does it finally turn into a new plant? So here are the stages of germination. So children, when we put the seed into the soil, as you can see here, the seed starts absorbing water and receives air and warmth. So when it receives water, absorbs water, it swells up and due to that, the seed coat bursts. And you can see a small white color structure coming out of the root, which we call as radical. After that, the radical develop into roots. The root starts coming out from the radical. Then the seed grows in size and develop shoot. You can see here a small shoot is coming up. And similarly, the shoot develops leaves. Once the leaves develop, the seed can prepare its own food by the process of photosynthesis. Before that, the seed has received the nutrition from the stored cotyledon. Then finally the cotyledon shrink and disappear and at this stage the seed is known as a sapling. So these are the stages of germination. Now here comes a question that there are so many fruits in which there are too many seeds. If all the seeds of a plant are sown or fall down under the same plant very close to each other will they all germinate or grow into a new plant so the answer is no because they will all compete for essential factors like air water light nutrients and of course very important space to grow so what will happen in doing so some of them may uh, disappear or may destroy while others which will get all the essential condition will germinate into a new plant. So children this situation this condition when all the seeds are very close and some of them are not able to germinate it is known as 
overcrowding of seed so we should be very careful about it and we should ensure that there should not be overcrowding of seeds children these are the suggested links which you need to go through for better understanding of the chapter or the topic and these links will be available in the title of the youtube channel from where you can copy down and avail them these are the assignment question which you need to write down in a beautiful handwriting in your science notebook and when you will come back after the holidays it will be checked and assessed enjoy learning take care of yourself